Twitter user Normorb, a UFO enthusiast, has been uploading videos around his home in Israel since the account was created late last year. According to Normorb, they are frequently visited by UFO guests, typically in orb form. Here, have a look for yourself. In the UFO community, if the object is making erratic maneuvers in the sky, there must be intelligence involved. It certainly has a very unnatural way about it going back and forth in opposite directions. Some argue in the comments that this is just a birthday balloon, and maybe that is true. However, if that is a string hanging down, it would need to be quite large to be so visible, and it doesn't appear to be affected at all with the wind. This object gives off a metallic shine in the sun and looks to possibly have lights on its belly or flame, some sort of illumination or possibly propulsion. Next, we go to the lands of China, where an aerial phenomenon was spotted over the city of Chongqing. A big thanks to YouTuber Mavi Ufo Alarm for finding the version of the video that has the original audio. However, the original audio is a bit comical and makes me question how authentic this video is. Here, take a look. Notice the odd plasma looking streaks in the sky, similar to our previous videos over Europe and Canada. 离家的方向，离家的方向，离家的方向，离家的方向，好，天冷，关心菩萨呀，那种，哎呀，我说的出来给，那种，那个，那个。And now I will play you the translated version of what is being said, and you can decide for yourself. Sight? Oh dear, you dummy! I'm busy with dinner. You're so naughty. Where are you looking at? I don't know if you can see over there. Look, look. Why this? Steam the dark. Hey, how much is your house price? From. Eighty thousand. All in house price. And then the middle was all red, and it kept on doing that. Still have to dig so for more than three pounds. Life. You have to take care of them. Touching your sweet kettle works all right. Tentacles. Oh, I really don't want to be raising Chewing. pigs here. So many pigs. When I drink, I eat this soup. This soup is really big. As you can you see, know. it quickly descends into a fever dream when translated. And unfortunately, questions the legitimacy of the video itself. And then you can't see it. Visual inspiration is a kind of rest. In the quiet area of San Luis, Argentina, late one night, a camera fixed upon a communication antenna recorded some odd aerial phenomenon shortly after midnight. We can see up to five glowing orbs rising up and down in all directions. Some fade away while others get brighter. While some are impressed with the footage, others argue it is nothing but Starlink flares, which I will let you decide if these look similar. Keep in mind this video is moving in real time. While the Starlink flare footage is sped up, personally I don't see the resemblance or the behaviour similarities, but what do you think? So here is a very interesting story from the popular podcast Danny Jones on YouTube that you won't want to miss. Daniel Sheehan, who is a Harvard attorney and has been involved in many high-profile cases like the Pentagon Papers and the Watergate break-in, sat down with Danny Jones to discuss what he discovered about the Rosewell accident.
One of the most famous photos of the Roswell incident is the image of the Air Force personnel looking over the metallic fragments found by a farmer near the crash site. According to Danny Sheehan, the telegram the Air Force officer is holding has been decrypted. Up, and they've got a weather balloon kind of spread out on the floor. Uh, and he's kneeling down next to the weather balloon, and he's got this cable in his hand. You can see the, the telegram. Uh, and so this guy says, I think I may have found the, the photographer that took the picture. <coughs> and I said, great. I said, if you, if you can find out and it's the right guy, see if he's got the negatives. If he's got the negatives, we might be able to digitize them and blow these things up, and we can read the telegram, right? So he does. He goes and finds the guy. Sure enough, it's the guy. Sure enough, he's got the, he's got the negatives. Sure enough, we get them blown up and digitized, right? <clears throat> and it says right in them, we had to do some computer stuff with, you know, where the consonants and vowels were to be able to fill in where some of the wrinkles were that were in the thing. But <clears throat> it says, bring the disk to right field and bring the bodies, okay? Now, and so that we, we know that it was real. It wasn't any weather balloon, you know, the, and, and the, all the guys, the guys that are there, I mean, they know what a weather balloon looks like. Well, that, you know, that uh, yeah, see, that's it there. So this, what are we looking at right that's, here? That's the telegram right there. This is the telegram that was in the guy's hand yes, in the photograph. Yes, in Ramey's right there. See it? Yeah. Definitely don't want to miss Danny Jones' YouTube channel and watch that interview. It's a massive story the mainstream media will never touch. While visiting London, a user on Reddit decided to stop in at a local pub and sit by the window. Little did he know he was about to witness some objects waiting for him in the sky. <laughs> They are flying awfully close. According to the original poster, he watched the orbs dance about and circle one another for a few minutes and then suddenly vanish. On a crisp autumn night in southern Ohio, the next footage showcases more white luminous orbs, seen at the start quickly dropping and moving somewhat erratically in the nighttime sky. According to the original poster, they witness the orb moving erratically, while eventually leveling and moving normal. They continue to say similar orbs were observed a month prior, but in pairs, with much more speed making them unable to capture the sighting. Some commentators suggest it's a drone, plane, Starlink, swamp gas, you know the drill. During a late night drive near the city of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, a group recorded a very bright object flying parallel to their own vehicle, clearly visible in the dark sky. It, should, it looks like a me? UFO, right? That's a UFO! Oh, Christian! 
Oh shoot, just stay right there. Look, it's just above there. Are you recording it? Yeah. <gasps> That's a UFO. You can just see it. <laughs> oh, well, hide, you know. <laughs> Bro, you can just see it. The camera work is a little rough, so here is the best clear footage of what they caught. From what I can make out from this object, it looks to have lights on all ends, with a very bright white light in the middle, and a teal light just off from it. What do you make of this object? So, these next photos were dug up by Scott Waring, who runs the UFO Sighting Daily website and probably the largest UFO enthusiast in the world. According to Scott, these still images are from a mission dating back to January 12, 1986, aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia, before its disaster a month later. Remember, this is 1986, so Starlink is still 30 years away, so whatever this strange object is, it doesn't appear to have any characteristics of what we humans would consider spacefaring, and it's quite enormous for space debris. Unilsat 10B separation. Some recent SpaceX footage has many on Twitter speculating on what is going on shortly after the capsule is seen released. Numerous objects to the right of the screen become visible moving in all sorts of directions, and one commentator who slowed the footage down swears the objects are making intelligent maneuvers from flying in a curved path and then altering course. Broadband internet services to applications like in-flight Wi-Fi, maritime communications, and other uh, types of users in a swath of the Earth from the North Atlantic to the Middle East. Utilsat 10B will be extending its uh, solar panels later on and beginning maneuvers with its uh, plasma thrusters, its all-electric propulsion system to reshape its orbit from the uh, elliptical super-synchronous transfer. And while we are in space looking around, let's take a look at this footage from Melbourne, Australia, where this Redditor who submitted the video claims to have captured some sort of craft near the moon's surface. One of the most impressive aspects of this video is the zoom on the camera used, incredible. The object has many contemplating that it could possibly be the Tiangong Space Station, a permanently crewed space station constructed by China, while others point out it's not moving, therefore it's not orbiting Earth, which rules it out for being a space station, like the International Space Station. So, it's either fake or outside Earth's orbit, what do you make of it? These next two sightings come from the southern states of Texas and Florida at opposite times of the day. Witnessed only a few days apart, the first was seen in Conroe, Texas on February 6th. Take a look. The witness stated that the object remained still and eventually moved left with erratic movement, not seen by balloons or planes. Allegedly, the wind was coming from the north while the object moved east to west. Captured in Orlando, Florida, more orb-like objects with the witness stating there were more that showed up after the recording that stuck around for another two minutes before they all vanished at once. So what do you make of it? Two very unique videos surfaced from Ukraine this week that has gone quite viral across social media outlets. The first comes directly from a Ukrainian battalion surveilling the front line when they come across something quite unusual. Yeah, 
<laughs> With what information of the video is known, it was captured using one of the 300 Heat Vision quadcopter drones, flying 500 feet above sea level, when soldiers spotted the mysterious object, which is believed to be 30 miles away from their base. Понимаешь, вот когда оно э, тот раз перед тем, как оно запряталось, еще вот такое вот э, подплыло к нему, потом спряталось, теперь вот это когда падало, ну, знаешь, как... As you can imagine, many are quick to label this as flares from an aircraft. While that might be true, most flares remain in the sky for 40 seconds, like the red parachute rocket flare that burns drifting down on a parachute. Вот это вот летит уже они... третье. И они что, собираются в кучку типа? Я не знаю. Ну вот третья эта штука, третий раз вот это слева приближается. Вот, оно что-то... Да, типа в одну кучку убило. Да. Видел даже вспышка как да, была? Да, да. Теперь смотри, вот одно падает. А меня... Да. Ты видео снимаешь? Да. А ты близко можешь снять? Ну а я максимально приблизил, у меня больше нету. Но вот это уже... That wraps up this week's video. Thanks so much for tuning in and staying until the end. Also, a massive thanks to all of you who subscribe to this channel has grown from 10 subscribers to 800 at the time of uploading this video. We will see you again next week. Take care, everyone.